Okay then, welcome back. And what we'll do is explore um, the basic construction of the undercarriage and how I actually do paint it and weather it um, as it being a sort of like modern Royal Air Force undercarriage type. Um, but yeah, one thing I will say about the kit, first of all, is the instructions uh, for um, the undercarriage parts are slightly vague. So my advice is just to make sure that you do actually read and digest uh, and find out exactly where everything goes and the attachment points for it. But anyway, it's a multi-part affair, as you can see. And basically it's just a simple case of gluing it together and making sure that you've got the parts in the right order, in the right holes. When you start building the front um, undercarriage legs, um, you will see that at some point it does start to get a bit flimsy. However, um, don't let that put you off because once everything's together, um, it does actually um, sit quite well within the actual uh, undercarriage bay um, once everything's glued in and dried. So really don't worry about that at all. Um, and just for note, I'm only gonna be doing the front undercarriage um, on this video. Uh, basically the uh, well the main undercarriage that I'll be doing later on is going to be done in exactly the same way um, as in painted weathered and all the rest of it so there you go just gluing on the last bits and pieces now just making sure everything's tiggity boo and one thing oh yeah uh, the attachment point for the light um, on the front undercarriage leg I had to use super glue on that one because the attachment point for it isn't very good and it's a bit vague. So there you go. Right, into the uh, painting stage now. So basically what I've done is I've primed it with a dark sea gray, uh, which is a slightly lighter one than the one I have been using uh, on this build, which is a dark gray. And basically all I'm doing is going around it in like the patches uh, and using an insignia white which it does have a brown sort of like tinge or a hue to it now the actual under carriage bay is well it is gray a very light gray um or at least the undercarriage leg is so basically what i'm trying to do is, is get sort of like an, an in-between sort of like gray a whitish and a brownish hue to it basically just to simulate some wear and tear you've got all sorts of lines in there, hydraulic lines, brake lines, and goodness knows what else. So it is trying an attempt just to try and weather it at a very, very early stage. Okay, to actually paint the wheels, um, just use a circular stencil, and obviously you've got your subject matter, which is the wheel. Um, and all you need to do now is just to make sure that when you actually put the wheel behind the stencil, that you pick the right aperture, so it does cover the circumference of the wheel hub. Um, the actual painting of this is on a separate video on a how-to compilation, and feel free to pop over there and take a look at that one. Okay, within the wheel wells itself, you've got separate boxes, um, i.e. circuit breakers, and basically we're just going to do nip in with a, a brush and paint them. Um, what I'm using is just my wet palette, uh, and I'm just using a very sort of like um, dark grey or a black grey from Vallejo. Uh, it's just a question of just cutting through and just taking your time and painting the actual circuit breaker boxes. Um, what I do find is, is that if you make the paint really quite thin, it does apply to itself very, very nicely, but also 
it eliminates um, the brush strokes that you do get in the paint. So it's a win-win. Okay, well, within the box, you don't get any decals um, for the placards on the legs or the front leg, but you do on the main legs. Strange. But anyway, what we'll do is, um, what, I, what I had to do was to source a placard from a Tamiya P47D and just basically apply it. And again, I'm just using the old um, MIG Ammo Ultra decal fix and it complied really well and stuck down there really nicely. So just before we use the uh, weathering wash, um, all I'm doing is just dry brushing it um, with the XF19 Sky Grey. So the wash that I'm using is from AK, it is the landing gear wash, which you can see just there. But also I'm going to be thinning it down slightly with some MIG thinners for washes, which work quite well actually. Anyway, popping in and it is a case of just loading your brush up and just tap and flow and you'll see the wash going into all the crevices and all into the corners. And it will give you a nice sort of like dirty look from where all the um, oils, hydraulic fluids and what kind of business has gone through. And there you go, that's one part of the actual back plate. So on with the main gear leg. Again, it is just a simple question of just tap and flow. And if you've got any excess on or you put too much on, then by all means just come through with a sort of like a um, clean, sort of like moist brush, and you can take it off as easy as you put it on. And you can do exactly the same thing for uh, the wheels as well. Just tap it and you'll see it flowing all over the place and it'll give you a nice little dirty look. Okay, so just to add a little bit more detail to the actual leg itself, I've applied some lead wiring, which is a 0.3 and 0.4 to the leg just to give it a little bit more detail. The lead wire was actually glued on with uh, super glue and when that was all properly set, I went round and painted the wires with a Vallejo gloss black. Okay, so everything's painted and weathered, it's time really now to stick it all together again. Thankfully, the instructions are quite good on this one and you can see exactly where all the parts need to go. Okay, just putting the, the lead wires um, up into the actual bay itself and around the actual gear leg but just be careful when you're doing this and don't handle the lead wiring too much. Okay, that's it. All done, all buttoned up and all ready to go into um, the actual underplate of the fuselage.
Okay, there you go. All the uh, underside of the fuselage, it just pops in and fits really, really well. So then, that's it for that video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something from it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. So keep safe, keep modeling, and enjoy yourself.